Good morning, everyone. You are watching a live daily market outlook for Thursday, 21st of June 2012, uh, prepared by Windsor Brokers. The morning after uh, the key release of uh, yesterday, FOMC meeting uh, shows that a number of investors were disappointed. Uh, basically, those that expected a new round of uh, quantitative easing were uh, uh, quite uh, disappointed, an extension of the so-called operation twist uh, through year and, and uh, new through year end pardon, was announced and the uh, Fed uh, Chairman Bernanke said uh, he would uh, consider outright asset uh, purchases if necessary, probably the minimum uh, the market was expecting. Uh, there was uh, no extension of the low interest uh, rate uh, time frame. Uh, from Greece, earlier news that uh, Greek's coalition uh, government has uh, been formed uh, was balanced by an absence uh, of uh, consensus on the use of uh, ESM uh, EFSF uh, bailout to intervene in the uh, bond uh, markets. As said, uh, the U.S. Uh, Federal Reserve on the uh, Federal Reserve on its yesterday's meeting delivered uh, uh, just another round of monetary stimulus and said it was ready to do even more to help and increasingly fragile uh, U.S. economic uh, recovery. The central uh, bank uh, expanded, as uh, we mentioned at the beginning, its operation uh, twist uh, by $267 billion, meaning it will sell that amount of uh, short-term securities uh, to buy longer-term ones and keep the long-term borrowing uh, costs uh, down. The program, which was uh, due to expire this month, will now run uh, through the end of uh, this uh, year. The highlight of uh, yesterday's uh, market movements, uh, as the majors uh, remained uh, quite uh, untouched after the FOMC release, uh, was the crude oil that uh, uh, registered again uh, very significant uh, losses uh, that were basically sparked on some uh, technical uh, selling after losing uh, uh, some supports and uh, then uh, accelerated by uh, surprisingly high U.S. Uh, crude stocks uh, that uh, showed the uh, uh, grow uh, raised by 2.87 million, if I'm not uh, mistaken. Uh, barrels compared to some uh, negative uh, expectations, uh, showing that uh, again the uh, oil demand is uh, going towards the downside. The, the losses of oil were also accelerated by China's uh, PMI that. Uh, showed the disappointing uh, uh, release during the overnight session as uh, 48.1 was the release of uh, HSBC flash manufacturing PMI for June compared to 48.4 that uh, shows that uh, the biggest one of the biggest uh, two consumers of the world of, of the oil in the world uh, shows another sig signal of uh, slowdown and uh, this might be causing another uh, uh, another slow in the oil, uh, oil and energy demand uh, in the world uh, market. Uh, as said, uh, the oil uh, was a uh, top performer negative, of course. Uh, yesterday, as yes, it uh, dipped uh, uh, well below its uh, recent uh, base, uh, there was an attempt uh, to build the base at 81.10 zone and the uh, hitting levels uh, so far close to 80.00. This is our uh, uh, short-term uh, target and we mentioned in the past of uh, several uh, several past sessions that uh, uh, most likely scenario would be for further extension lower and the targeting uh, 8000 this uh, has uh, materialized uh, yesterday in overnight uh, set 8012 uh, seen so far with the uh, still very negative uh, tone seen on the uh, near term uh, studies keeping the downside the firm in focus uh, for the oil prices uh, more of this uh, will come in our uh, in our technical part we'll uh, see everything in uh, details now just a brief look at uh, today's uh, calendar uh, that is uh, quite uh, full uh, as uh, said already chinese hsbc flash manufacturing pmi has been released and disappointing 48.1 compared to previous 148.4. As Swiss uh, trade balance uh, showed the uh, increase in the trading uh, surplus to 2.48 billion uh, Swiss francs compared to uh, 1.26 billion uh, of the previous uh, month uh, release and the 1.97 billion Swiss francs uh, today's uh, forecast uh, still uh, to come. The Swiss industrial production is already out uh, we don't have the release at this moment. Our calendar hasn't been updated, but uh, we'll come later to 
uh, this uh, point uh, further uh, to come uh, from Germany flash manufacturing uh, PMI uh, that is uh, for today expected to stay unchanged at 45.2 uh, holding well uh, below 50 uh, break point uh, as well as uh, uh, services PMI that is uh, expected slightly to decrease by 46.4 compared to 46.7 of uh, a May's release. Uh, Eurozone uh, flash manufacturing PMI is due at 758 uh, GMT. Uh, further decrease uh, 44.9 uh, for June expected compared to 45.1 of uh, May. Uh, services PMI uh, for Eurozone also is uh, forecasted lower 46.4 compared to 46. Uh, uh, point uh, seven with the uh, Europe uh, eurozone's uh, current account for April uh, uh, forecasted to show the uh, draw in the current uh, surplus uh, to seven point three billion euros compared to nine point one billion euros of the uh, March's uh, release uh, from UK CBI industrial orders expectations uh, for May are uh, forecasted uh, more negative minus 19 compared to minus 17 of the uh, previous month's release and Americas uh, start with the Canadian retail sales due at uh, 12.30 GMT uh, for April a slight decrease uh, uh, to 0.3 percent compared to 0.4 percent of uh, a month of uh, March. Uh, core retail sales are expected slightly to tick higher, uh, 0.2 percent is uh, today's forecast compared to 0.1 percent of uh, March. Uh, U.S. Uh, unemployment uh, claims uh, weekly release uh, are forecasted to, to slightly decrease uh, to uh, 381,000 uh, from uh, 386,000 of the previous uh, week's release. Uh, U.S. Uh, PMI, uh, manufacturing PMI for June is also forecasted the lower 53.4 is the today's uh, consensus compared to 54 of uh, uh, May's release. Uh, Eurozone consumer confidence is due at uh, 1400 uh, GMT June's release and the further uh, uh, worsening in the confidence uh, is seen uh, by uh, today's forecast at minus 20 compared to minus 10.3 of the May's release. Uh, US existing uh, home sales uh, uh, also slightly below, forecast slightly below previous uh, month release at 44.62 million uh, units to 4.58 million units. Uh, Philadelphia Fed, Fed Manufacturing Index due at the same time, 14.00 GMT is uh, now forecasted uh, coming into the positive uh, territory, 0 0.7 uh, is today's uh, consensus compared to uh, minus 5.8 of the previous uh, month release, uh, while the uh, US uh, Home Price Index uh, monthly release for April is uh, forecasted at 0.5%, uh, uh, well below 1.8% of uh, uh, March's release and the US uh, leading index for May is uh, expected uh, for slight improvement. Uh, today's forecast uh, 0 0.10 compared to minus uh, 0 0.10 of the previous uh, month release and a couple of uh, speakers. Uh, uh, Bank of Canada's uh, Governor Carney is due to have a speech at 15.45 GMT and the uh, ECB President Mario Draghi due at uh, 1600 uh, GMT. Uh, that was all from uh, today's uh, events and the ec economic indicators uh, releases. Uh, we're going to move now to our technical part. As said, the euro was, uh, uh, pardon, the sterling, uh, I do apologize, the crude oil was the uh, top negative uh, performer yesterday and uh, we can see on the oil's uh, hourly chart that uh, the, basically, the, energy, the crude oil has, has suffered the heavy losses. Uh, more uh, clear picture is seen on the uh, four-hour chart uh, when, uh, where we see that uh, basically upside was uh, capped initially at 87. That was the larger range top and the narrower range uh, ceiling at 85, 80. That was the high of uh, 18th of uh, June and since then the price started uh, descending. Uh, basically, break uh, below uh, 8240 uh, zone that was uh, uh, the spark uh, for the further uh, weakness of the oil price has uh, triggered the acceleration of the losses uh, uh, with loss of 8200 and a very significant uh, support at 8100 8119 uh, uh, has uh, seen break uh, through these levels and extension so far to 8012 uh, the studies, uh, pardon, on the daily chart, on the uh, one and four hour chart are negative uh, with the 
hourly conditions being in extreme extreme uh, uh, negative uh, uh, levels uh, suggesting some corrective action uh, might be seen in the hours to come but uh, negative tone that uh, dominates in all uh, time frames is the downside for now more uh, favored initial uh, resistance now uh, stands at uh, previous strong support at 81 uh, 10 20 zone uh, while uh, uh, again, the significant levels seen at uh, previous uh, supports, 82.00 and 82.40, uh, with the descending 20 uh, uh, days uh, moving average, exponential moving average currently at 82.71 so far, maintaining the negative tone, and uh, basically 82.40 would be a good uh, barrier to limit any uh, stronger uh, movements, uh, corrective movements uh, uh, higher. As uh, said, the negative tone that dominates in the uh, lower and higher and larger time frames uh, keeps the downside in uh, focus uh, uh, with the possible uh, recovery seen uh, quite limited uh, for now to provide the near term relief and uh, prevent uh, oil price uh, from further uh, uh, easing and further uh, descending as a part of the larger downtrend from a uh, yearly peak at uh, 110.53 and the lower top at uh, 106.41 where this uh, steep uh, uh, fall uh, started. Uh, we need to see the regain of a minimum uh, 87.00. This is the high of uh, 7th of June and the uh, recent uh, near-term uh, range top that actually uh, limited uh, the price action. Uh, this is uh, more from the technical side as uh, fundamentals are uh, so far quite uh, negative and they uh, keep uh, driving the oil price uh, lower uh, with the clear break below 80.00 to open next uh, very significant uh, static supports at 75.70 and 75.00 uh, these are the lows of uh, August and uh, October 2011 as uh, the, as mentioned, the strong uh, downtrend of uh, yearly peak at uh, 110.53 uh, continues uh, to extend uh, lower, threatening the full retracement of 2011-2012 uh, rally from uh, uh, 75 to uh, 110.53. From the other currencies, uh, we're going to take a look now in the majors and the C, the latest uh, movements. As I said, the euro uh, was... Uh, more or less uh, unaffected by FOMC uh, decision, but uh, some weakness uh, seen uh, on the hourly chart uh, sees a real threat of uh, further easing of the pair uh, the uh, 127.45 uh, uh, level, the previous uh, high that uh, stays intact for now and then keeps the upside limited in past uh, couple of uh, days, uh, uh, sees a potential of further easing, a uh, loss of initial uh, uh, support at uh, 126.65 that has been uh, cracked on yesterday uh, dip to 126.36 uh, uh, close to 61.8 percent retracement of the uh, rally from uh, 125.57 to 127.41 uh, sees the risk uh, for uh, further easing as uh, a loss of uh, significant loss of uh, momentum on the hourly chart and the study is uh, moving into the negative uh, territory uh, see more potential of uh, further easing uh, break below 126.30 zone uh, to risk uh, further extension uh, lower with the uh, a go a good supports uh, seen at uh, 126.00 and 125.90 where is the ascending uh, main bull trend line of uh, 122.87 and basically a break below these levels and the uh, 125.57 uh, low of uh, last uh, Monday and the key near-term uh, support uh, uh, would be signal of uh, double top uh, formation and uh, further retracement of the uh, short-term rally from uh, 120.87 to 127.45 on the pardon, on the daily chart uh, uh, recovery that uh, moves from uh, 122.87 has uh, so far uh, retraced between 38 and 50% uh, retracement, 50% uh, retracement of the down move from 132.82 to 122.87. Uh, but uh, study seems to be uh, the price action seems to be uh, showing uh, signals of uh, stalling at uh, this point with a break below 126 as our. Uh, 
uh, key downside uh, barrier to 126 and then 125.57 is uh, to confirm the uh, top. Any reversal above uh, these levels, especially above 126, uh, uh, would ideally fit into this uh, short-term uh, uptrend and uh, look for further extension higher. As the daily studies are still, uh, um, MACD, daily MACD is still in the negative territory but uh, pointing higher and the uh, strong momentum that is basically now running out of uh, steam is still uh, uh, showing potential of uh, further extension uh, higher. Uh, we are going to focus on uh, 126 and 125.57 in case of a loss of uh, these levels. Uh, the near-term outlook uh, would be turning uh, more negative and uh, looking for a further uh, reversal. Uh, sterling is uh, still in a sort of uh, sideways, non-directional movements, but uh, yesterday's extension uh, above uh, previous uh, highs, uh, hitting uh, 157.76, still shows the uh, bulls uh, of uh, short-term bulls of uh, 152.67 low of uh, 1st of June uh, fully in play, and the latest uh, pullback on the hourly chart is still seen as corrective, as long as uh, trend line support at uh, uh, 156.30 and. Uh, a recent um, price action uh, floor at uh, 156.15 uh, stay intact. I only break uh, below here and the uh, 156 as a, a round figure uh, support uh, uh, would uh, show more risk of uh, further uh, uh, retracement of uh, 152.67 to 157.76 uh, uh, rally, uh, where the support is also reinforced by ascending uh, 55 days exponential moving average currently standing at uh, 156 uh, and 19 uh, set uh, only break below 156 that marks also the uh, previous uh, end of May beginning of uh, June range top that kept the uh, uh, price limited for a couple of weeks uh, uh, would be signal of uh, further easing and uh, uh, will confirm the top uh, temporary top at uh, 157.76 uh, ahead of uh, further uh, reversal lower, another uh, strong support at uh, 155 and uh, 154.50 are a bit uh, away at uh, current uh, market price. Uh, we're going to focus at uh, 156.30, uh, 156.15 and 156.00. Holding above uh, 156.00 would uh, be still a, a positive uh, signal and uh, uh, keep the uh, short-term focus higher. Break above uh, 157.76 to open. Uh, uh, 157, 158.00 is around figure resistance and the 158.47, 22nd of May uh, high. Uh, important also to mention that uh, run, uh, lack of, uh, lack of uh, uh, stronger momentum to keep the, to hold the gains above uh, uh, cracked uh, 200 days uh, moving average it might be uh, seeing more risk of uh, further easing, while a uh, firm break above uh, uh, 157.50, 200-days moving average, and they over yesterday's high at 157.76 is to avert uh, immediate uh, downside risk and uh, resume uh, towards uh, previously mentioned uh, levels at 158 and 158.50. The dollar-yen also uh, ran uh, off uh, the uh, dangerous zone as yesterday's uh, bounce of 178.78 uh, uh, low has uh, approached uh, our critical uh, upside the resistances at uh, 7980 and 8000 uh, as the hourly studies are already overextended uh, some uh, corrective consolidative action is uh, seen likely in the uh, coming hours while uh, four hour chart studies are uh, showing a positive uh, structure and seeing potential of uh, a further recovery uh, important that uh, 200 days uh, moving average uh, keeps uh, so far the downside uh, well protected and the uh, sees potential of uh, a fresh attack at uh, 79.80 and the 80.00 break of which uh, to uh, open the way for further uh, recovery and they uh, confirm the bottom at uh, 77.96 with 80.14, percent uh, retracement and the 70.60. Uh, double top is seen as the next uh, targets on the downside loss of uh, 79 and more significant uh, uh, 78 80 78 uh, 60 zone would be bearish and uh, then focus set uh, towards uh, 77 65 broken uh, bear trend line and the uh, low of uh, 1st of uh, June 2012 and finally is uh, Swiss franc that is uh, 
uh, still uh, holding uh, above the dangerous uh, zone at uh, 9420 as yesterday's uh, dip lower hit uh, 9423 just uh, a few ticks above previous low at 9420 uh, keeping the downside still intact and the subsequent uh, bounce higher now is uh, looking for a break above uh, yesterday's uh, spike uh, higher at 95.00 where the uh, price action failed uh, to uh, clear this level. This is uh, basically important uh, resistance zone at uh, 95 as a round figure and uh, 95.10 as 61.8 percent retracement of the near term down move from uh, 95.62 to and 94.23, uh, uh, break of which would uh, provide the uh, near-term relief and allow for a stronger uh, reversal. Uh, more more significant uh, resistance is seen at 95.62, uh, uh, 18th of uh, June high, where the recent uh, recovery of 94.20 has uh, been uh, capped by descending 55 days uh, uh, moving average. So far, the pair is atta attacking. Uh, uh, attempting at 95.00, just attempting through uh, 20 days uh, exponential moving average currently at 94.88 with break above uh, the next uh, moving average uh, uh, to open way for possible uh, test of uh, 95.62. Uh, uh, break above uh, this level as said is uh, required to avert immediate downside risk and uh, to confirm the uh, double bottom uh, formation at 94.20 to allow for a uh, a stronger reversal and stronger correction of uh, uh, short-term down move from 97.69 to 97.24. Any failure under 95.62 would be seen as a risk of uh, leaving a lower top and uh, a fresh extension lower, while loss of uh, 94 uh, at 20 level to open uh, 94 uh, zone where we have a uh, 50% retracement of the broader up move from 90.41 to 97.69. And the higher low at 93.66, low of 21st of May 2012. And finally, the gold, as it also lost traction on yesterday's weakness of commodities and energies, dipping lower of its recent high at 16.33, where they basically the yellow metals price failed to regain our next significant barrier at 16.40, break of which. Uh, was required uh, to uh, prevent uh, to open way for a stronger uh, recovery with uh, yesterday's dip and yesterday yesterday's dip seen uh, below 1600 uh, level a quick recovery was uh, short lived and the uh, yellow metals price is again uh, back below 90 uh, 1600 the uh, support that increases risk uh, there is also the 38.2% uh, retracement of the up move from uh, 1532 to 15 uh, 1640 and the break below this level now risks further easing static support the next one is at 1586 and 1581 while loss of 1570 zone where it's a 61.8 percent retracement and the low of 8 of June 2012 at 1555 would tend to focus fully towards the downside and look for test of critical support zone at pardon at 15.30.20 as uh, uh, downtrend uh, from 2011 peak at uh, 19.20. This is the historical high of uh, uh, yellow metal still stays intact uh, and uh, basically break of uh, 16.40 was the first step required uh, uh, to open uh, 16.17 and 1700 uh, level uh, in order to prevent uh, uh, more uh, losses that are seen on the break below this uh, critical support at uh, 15.20 and 15.30. Uh, As some analysts were commenting uh, that uh, 1600 uh, is uh, rather seen than 1500 zone for yellow metal, uh, recent action and the failure to sustain gains above 1600 again uh, bring, brings the short term risk uh, uh, towards the downside uh, and 15.30.20 and 15.00. Uh, zone now in uh, focus uh, studies on the uh, hourly chart are in the negative territory quite extended that might be a signal for some uh, consolidative corrective action while for our chart uh, uh, indicators uh, broke uh, below their uh, midlines and the loss of uh, initial bullish momentum uh, sees uh, more risk uh, towards the downside uh, thank you all for attending our uh, live session that was all uh, for today the question and answers uh, 
part uh, will uh, follow after the end of uh, this session. Uh, we would like uh, to see you again uh, with us uh, on our tomorrow's uh, uh, live session that is due at uh, 7.00 GMT. Until then, I wish you a nice day and uh, very successful trading. Good luck.